Guess who back in the house? Heels click clack and a bow. Fine, fresh, feminine style to 11. I'm divine, so heavenly gentlemen sweat. It's down across the board, no doubt. Body like wow. What's up, my gods and goddesses? Welcome back to my channel. This is Nefertiti here, about to show you a fabulous look. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a sultry, sexy, bronze goddess look that I did on over on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Nefra TT. So N A N E F R A A underscore T T. Can I even say my own name? Oh my God. At N E F R A underscore T T on Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter at N E F R A T T one. So if you're not following me, please go follow on Instagram and Twitter. And also if you're not subscribed down below, go subscribe, like, and comment on this video. So I'm going to be taking you from this to this. So we're going to be starting off with this blank canvas. You know I always do my brows first and foremost before I do anything else. Face. So I'm going to do my tried and true, which I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in. Well, not gel. That was the pomade in Ebony. This Then I follow up with the gel um, in Ebony as well. And I use my favorite favorite angle brush my morphe b45 brush so stay tuned i'm going to do my brows off camera and i will be right back so i'm back with my brows are done and smashed honey yes always so i'm going to be going in with um some colors from my palette z palette i'm going to be going in with peach smoothie from makeup geek also coco bear the deepest brown that I have right now um, from Makeup Geek as well. Then from ColourPop, I'm going in with the Sea Stars. I'm also going to be using one of my favorites from Sugar Pill, which is the black shade right here, which is Bulletproof. So stay tuned. I'm going to be going, I'm going to be doing one eye first off camera. Then I'm going to come back and show you how I did that eye. So stay tuned. Oh, welcome back. As you can see, I did one eye and now I'm gonna show you how I created this on this eye. And I also forgot to say that I'm also using Taco from Sugar Pill as well. It's a white shadow. I'm also using three highlighters from Hello Gregory. One is Hello Gold, one's Hello Bronze, and then the other one is unreleased. Um, he, as you know, he's going out of business, so he's not going to be releasing it, but I call it Hello Copper. So it's in that gold family. Um, and then also I'm using the glitter that's on here is from um, Midas Cosmetics. You can go check them out on Instagram and on Twitter. Tell them I sent you. Um, and it's in the, uh, not shade. <laughs> glitters only well they do come in colors but not shades um it's in toasty that is what it is it's the chunky glitter so stay tuned so first and foremost we're going to start out with sugar pills taco white and i'm going to go under my brow with it so how's everybody's day today hopefully it's doing well i know all this fabulous stuff is coming out jeffree stars cosmetics glosses and jacqueline hill's lipsticks juvia's place foundation and concealer girl it is a year for 2019 oh anastasia by the hills with Alyssa edwards um collaboration mm. hopefully you guys picked up some of those things also don't forget to also celebrate the indie brands the smaller brands because you know they need that love and support as well so I'm going to go under my brow with the taco and I'm going to pat it on first and then I'll blend it out. All right, 
Then I'm going to go in and with my browns and I'm going to do the peach smoothie, which is this color right, if I can get it, which is this color right here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend just under my white. So I get a good blend between my white and my browns. I'm gonna go in. Just like that. And then I'll take that same thing, which is peach smoothie, and I'll go right here to get a more natural blend into the white. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Sea Stars. And that's going to be one of my main colors. Just going to pat that on in the crease. And blend out some more of that color into the crease. And then I'll also take that color upwards towards the brow to give a more natural blend to peach smoothie. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear, which is the darkest brown that I showed you earlier. I know I should show you guys these colors. Let me just show you real quick, which I used, which was this one right here. I just used, which is uh, Sea Stars, which I just did in the crease. I'm gonna deepen it with Coco Bear, which is Coco Bear is from Makeup Geek, and Sea Stars is from ColourPop. So I'm gonna take that same thing and I'm just gonna deepen the crease, the brow. And then to match over here, it's a little higher up here. So I'm gonna take, um, go back in with Sea Stars. I'm gonna take it up a little bit and then I'm gonna blend in um, Peach Smoothie. So I'll make the white as little as possible. So I'm making sure it's blended. And I'm gonna go back in with peach smoothie up here Then I'm going to go in with Sugar Pills um, Bulletproof, which is the black. And don't be afraid of the, the black. So I'm gonna start with the outer edge first, always pat first. Then I'll blend out. That's just a technique that I come to love is patting first, then blending out. So I'm deepening the crease, as you can see. Got that. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut the crease. 
So I'm going to cut the crease with my Fenty 105 Concealer, which is the lightest um, shade yellow undertone shade. And I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm doing my little trick that most people, a lot of people do, instead of just drawing on the cut, just go on the bottom left, look up, around, and it cuts it for you to where you won't have anything transferring. Now I'm going to go in with the loose highlighters from Hello Gregory, Hello Gold, Hello Bronze, and Hello Copper. So the very first one I'm gonna start out with, with is main one, which is Hello Bronze, which looks like this. Okay, if you guys can see that. If you can't, you'll see it when it hits my eye. Okay. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna start in the middle portion, pat it on. And you should always know with any type of a foil, um, a shimmer, you always wanna pat it on first before you start to blend, blend. Because if you just start to blend, it's just gonna be dull. And you're not gonna get any color or shine payoff. So pat all the way up. Like that, and then we're gonna go in with Hello Copper on the outer edge of it. And Hello Copper, Got um, concealer all over my arm. Hello Copper looks like this, so it's more orange based. I'm gonna put the Hello Copper on the outer edge of it. And then between them, go ahead and just blend them together. So you get a seamless blend into one another. Just like that. And then we're gonna go in with Hello Gold. You guys have seen Hello Gold before. It was like that. So it's a um, silvery yellow color. Together. And as you can see, this one is a little bit less than this. So I'll go back in with Hello Bronze to make it even. Okay, just like that. So that is that. I'm going to come back with the glitter and I'll show you that. And then we're going to move on. So we're back and I'm going to show you the glitter. We're gonna use my favorite glitter primer, which is the NYX glitter primer. We're gonna dabble a little bit of that on the hand, the back of the hand. I'm telling you, if your back of your hand don't look like this and all weird stuff all over it, I wouldn't trust you doing my face because I think everybody's hand should look like that. So we're going to, 
swirl it around and then we're gonna put that just on the copper and the bronze part of the look so it's not going to go on the gold hello gold part and then i'm going to grab the which is toasty which is a glitter that looks like this if you can see it so so pretty and stunning i'm going to take some of that and then i'm going to put it all over the lid grab some of the bigger pieces because I tend to be missing some of the bigger chunks is it grab a little bit too much just a little bit too much there kind of spread the wealth around This is so, so, so stunning. And that's from Midas Cosmetics on Twitter and on Instagram. You can shop them. They are also in any brand that I've talked about. Make sure you're supporting any brands as well as big brands. It's because they need some loving too. So, and tell them I sent you, Nefertiti sent you. So, now that, I'm going to, oh, excuse me. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to blend um, Cocoa Bear and um, da -da 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 Sea Stars. Couldn't remember. Um, into what the glitter is and into the copper. So, doing Sea Stars first. And then I'll go in with Cocoa Bear to deepen it. And then I'll eventually go in with um, Bulletproof from Sugar Pill. So just get everything a nice and smoked out. That smoky bronze goddess look. I'm going to go in with the black and deepen that up a little bit right here. did that then I'm going to do if you need to uh, deepen the crease you can deepen the crease I'll show you how I deepen the crease where is the brush I use one of these which is a small um, smudge brush so I'm going to take Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to follow that line and I'm going to deepen that crease so especially for hooded eyes like I do I like to create that um, shadow effect. So I'll take that, the deepest brown first. To look like you have a socket, basically. And then I'll go in with the black. So never be afraid, those have hooded eyes. Um, then I'll go with the black. I'll make the black as thin as possible. Blend it out to give that deep setness. Okay. So the eyes are done. I'll, when I come back, I'm going to do my face. So I'm going to beat that face mug. Yes. Stay tuned. All right. Now we're going to go in and beat this mug. Bitch. So I'm going to use my favorite uh, moisturizer right now. I'm going to use the Daily Hydrating Moisturizer from e.l.f. Always, always, always hydrate your skin, no matter if you're oily or dry, and especially if you're dry. So take a generous amount all over the face. Put 
up in our day. Especially the cheek area and around the nose gets very, very, very dry. Hopefully I didn't mess up my, my brows. No. Nope. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go in and I'm going to prime my face. My favorite, favorite, favorite primer, which is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I need to get more of this because I am almost out of it. Definitely, definitely highly recommend this primer to anyone. get a generous amount on my skin. So when I say I'm gonna beat this face, I'm gonna beat this mug. A little bit on my forehead. So I do get dry sometimes there. And this is the, the perfect primer for me. For me. But I still will highly recommend everyone try it, even though every primer is not for everyone. There you go, now I'm gonna prime my face. After I prime my face, I always mist my face before putting on foundation. Now I'm gonna use my, actually I have Fix Plus. I have to find it, let me find it on this table. Well, I thought I had my Fix Plus. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter. soak in then I'm going to go in with my foundation I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty this is in 430 I do need to use my mirror I do need to reswatch myself especially coming in summer because this is my shade now but it's not going to be my shade later so this is like I have like three shades um, that I need this is like my autumn beginning of winter and then I go a little bit lighter than this um, for winter and spring and of course during the summer we get darker it's in the sun especially me being in the sun so I have it on the back of my hand like that and I also started doing this um, a lot then I stopped but now I need to get back into it I love elves um, illuminating face primer this gives such a nice radiant glow so I like to put this in my foundation and mix it it looks like this it's like this gold tint so I will mix it together so I I do this because I, I love a glow. So if you're a person who is um, very dry, this could be a good thing for you. I use it on my matte foundations, which you know Finchie is a matte foundation. So I use it on my matte foundations when I don't want to look matte. And I wanna have a little bit of that glow for that radiant skin. <laughs> Side. I do want to start using um, a foundation brush 
not the flat breath, but like a kind of like a stippling breath, like a dense brush, like one of like one of these, but um, more round and thicker. And see if I like doing it that way better. Or not. Okay, just used that pump on my face. So I'm gonna do a little bit more, pump out just a little bit more, and then put it on my forehead. I don't know if you guys or if the camera picks this up, but here I like, I can see that dewiness to the skin. So this works so well for me. It might work for you if you have dry skin. So give it a try. It is the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. It is a radiant glow. Um, it's gold, basically. It looks like this, it's gold. So after I've done that, I'm going to go in with my um, concealer. So I started back in the habit of doing this. I like to do like my shade or a little bit deeper first, which is this one I'm gonna use Fit Me, and this is in the shade Coco. So, so I can cancel out any deepness within the coloration of my skin. That way I don't get like a gray cast when I do a lighter shade. So I get back into the habit of doing my shade and there is a moth in here. So I'm gonna, and it's on my hair. That's what happens when you leave the doors open. And when family leaves doors open, you know. Get right here because I have like I have this discoloration, especially tweezing my eyebrows, or actually waxing, I like to wax. So I get that discoloration a little bit right there. And then I also get some down here as well, and out here. So now I'm gonna take my Junko sponge is the one I like to use. Boom. Yes. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite, favorite everybody knows, my Fenty Beauty Concealer. I do want to try the Juvia's Place one because I've heard it's very 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 ooh, excuse me similar to shape tape so I'm gonna take my Fenty in 390 and then I started doing this I'll go a little bit lighter so I picked up the wrong one. I should have got 22, but I got 21. Uh, C21 and Magic Star, the Jeffree Star Concealer, which is a little bit lighter. And I'll put it right under the eye. So to brighten the eye portion. Blend it all in. Taking my sponge. And I like to blend Fenty first, and then I'll go in with the Jeffrey. Because the Jeffrey is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot lighter. And then I'll get Fenty. Let me make sure I get Fenty on the outside. 
page of the notes. that blended then I'm gonna go in and blend if you star right under the eye I'm just taking it under the eye and boom there you have it and you know I always like to go back in and sure everything is blended together so I'll go back in with my foundation and right where the concealer and foundation is bust that out to make it all seamless just like that so there's no harsh lines <laughs> there we go when I come back I'm going to powder my face do my highlights, put lashes on, all the works, yes. So welcome back. Now we're going to be going in with my favorite powder, you know, the Milani in Honey Amber. Dust that off and we're gonna pack that on, set the concealer. Over the face with it you see it still has that dewy radiantness let's do that illuminating primer now I'm gonna go in my favorite 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 bronzer which is the mocha Mami from Fenty so everybody knows I uh, love this by now so you take this be a bronze goddess I like to do my forehead first and blend. See, I'm a person who loves to do um, the whole forehead. I don't like to do just here and here. I think it looks so unnatural and so weird that everything isn't blended together. That's just my preference of how I do my bronzer when I, then I'll go and bronze up these cheeks to connect and I'll go down towards my chin as well same thing on this side down there as well so you get that nice bronze goddess look yes then I'm now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna bake just a little bit I always say I'm not gonna bake now then I'll actually go in and actually bake so I'm gonna take my sorry if I'm getting up close <laughs> take my some things are far away. Take my um, uh, banana deep powder from Makeup Revolution. I love this color. I do want to try their other colors out. But I'm so happy that someone came out with something that's just not banana where it's too ghostly white for my skin tones. So I'm gonna carve just right here out the cheeks.
Okay, and then of course down the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna get close for this. the nose all right there as well go up a little bit more just a little bit let that bake a little bit and then we're going to move on to doing under the eyes so we're going to do those same colors we're going to go in with cocoa bear we're going to go in with sea stars and we're going to go in with sugar pills um, bulletproof. So first and foremost, we're going to go in with Sea Stars first. So I'm going to take this brush right here. We're going to go in under the eye. I'm going to pack that in. Now that we have that, I'm going to take the smudger and I'm going to go in with the black. that smoked it out and then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do my lashes off camera well actually yeah I'm gonna do my lashes off camera um, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do highlight and lips and everything's gonna be done stay tuned welcome back as you can see I have my lashes on my lips are done all I have to do is my blush and my highlighter and be all set to go with this oh uh, lovely look so i just put on lashes um i got a new pair from finishing touch lashes i love this holographic box that they came in they are in the style tasha and i uh, so perfect for me such a such a queen look with these lashes um now i'm going to be going in with blush first i always do blush first usually do blush first and i do highlight last so i'm going to go in my favorite you know the juvia's place sahara blush volume one and i'm going to go in with this orangey color cool it's cool for the summer so it's called toby so i'm going to be going in with an elf angled blush bronzing brush actually so i love doing blush with an angled brush start out soft a little bit and then build it up so this is like an orangey peach tone blush you can it's definitely buildable these are very pigmented so I always start light first and then I'll build the color up I like to go all the way towards the corner to get that nice superstar effect here as well so 
So with blush, I avoid doing like the whole contour because I want a bronzer because I want the actual bronzer to actually show. So just a, at the top of the bronzer, I'll put the blush in to how I want it. Looks fabulous. Now we're gonna go in with highlight and we're gonna go in with one of my staples that I I absolutely love and I just got back into using a lot more because I love to experiment with all different type of highlighters. This is the Artist Couture Jackie Ina La Peach. So let's go in with that. Ooh, that pigment. Let me put some over here so I'm not overdoing it from the beginning. I like to build it up. Oh, look at that glow, bitch. Yes. And I'll take it to under the eye as well to get that glistening oh, kiss. Look. Oh, yes. And then I'll go on the nose. Right there at that tip. And then also right. Woo, a little too much. Let's blend that out right at the curve of my nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it into the brow under the brow. Love getting under the brow bone, yes. So sickening. Get that cupid's bow a little bit. Going in here on the nose. All right, guys. Uh, this is the final look. How do you guys like it? Hopefully, you love it. I'm gonna go in with my all nighter, set this bad boy. Yes. Then I'll go in and I'm gonna just pounce everything together. Just blend out the beautifulness. Okay, so this is my sexy, sultry goddess bronze a look that i did over on my instagram if you're not following go follow me on instagram at n-e-f-r-a underscore t-t that's at nefra t-t on instagram also on twitter n-e-f-r-a t-t-1 so nefra t-t-1 nefra t-t-1 not titty <laughs> over on twitter also if you're not subscribed please subscribe down below leave comments likes please 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 growing this platform and i hope you guys enjoyed this look hopefully you can try it out too maybe you can try it out go out and feel sexy that queen diva that you are okay Mwah. i love you guys hopefully you guys have a great wonderful day and i will chat with you guys later Feelings are unreal, put your money down, it's your back, spin the wheel. Feel is what you feel, feelings are unreal, put your money down, it's your back.